Hey everybody, thanks for coming back and checking out my channel. Um, I am going to have box day and I'm going to share all of that with you. I've gotten several things over the past week or two and I'm just going to run through a couple of them right now. My first thing that I got in the mail was my Sephora box, which is really nice. Um, if you ever order anything from Sephora, make sure you check the gift box option. Even if it's for yourself, you get a really nice box, which looks like this. Really pretty box. Opens in the front and closes, and it kind of has like a magnetic closure to it. You can hear it pop shut, and it stays closed. Um, anyway, also, if you decide to get something for someone from Sephora, they will also enclose a little gift card that looks like this. And you can put your message right inside. Mine says, Happy Summer, because it was for me, from me. I love getting gifts for myself. I'm the best. So, anyway, the box and the card are really nice. Also, with ordering from their site, what is really nice is they carry many different makeup, perfume, cosmetic brands. You get three free samples with every order. And what's nice is you get to pick which three you want out of a whole handful of stuff. And I got Ren Rose Complex Moisturizer. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells really nice. I got Anise Day Serum and Night Serum. Comes in a little packet like this with two samples. One for day and one for night. And I haven't tried that one yet either. But it's on the list. The one sample I did try that I've absolutely fell in love with and I honestly did not know it exist. Actually, I found several things that I did not know exist until I watched some of you gals here on YouTube. And it's a foundation primer. It is by Smashbox. It's called Photo Finish with UVA, UVB, SPF 15 with Dermaxyl Complex Foundation Primer. Comes on a card like this. Hopefully you can see it. When I first used this product, I thought it was going to be really oily because um, it's almost like an ointment in consistency. When I squeezed it out on my fingers, I was like, mm, it kind of looks like Vaseline. And I was thinking, oh no, it's going to be oily and greasy on my face and I'm not going to like it. But I found out for me, and I have very sensitive skin, which is very combination. I have really oily spots and I have really dry spots. But this seems to work wonders. My face feels softer and so much more even in its texture since I've been using this for about a week now. So I'm going to order the full size product of this and it's really, really nice if you're looking for a foundation primer. Or if you're like me and you had no idea one exists and you want to try out something new, there you go. I also got Bare Minerals Bisque. This is kind of dark for my skin tone, so I'm more than likely going to use this as a contour powder instead of a all-over foundation powder, but it's nice. I also ordered the Urban Decay Ammo Palette and Primer Potion, which I absolutely love. Um, I have always been a very neutral eyeshadow wearer. Browns, creams, golds, some beige, some light greens in that neutral family. But this is, um, has some really, really nice colors and neutrals. It looks like that. Hopefully you can see them. Really pretty and it comes, has a mirror and a brush or a sponge applicator and it has smog, mildew, oil slick, glass call, chopper across the top Maui Waui Shatter, Polyester Bride, Grifter and Sin across the bottom now you've probably seen this collection a hundred times so I'm not going to swatch it if you want to know what this color will look like on a light skin tone and you want me to swatch it for you, let me know and I, I can go back and I'll do that because I think pretty much most everybody that I've seen, with the exception of one, has 
a darker skin tone than mine. So, I'm going to hold off on the swatching until somebody says, hey, I want you to do that. And, of course, the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which comes in this really cute little bottle. Um, I love it. Uh, I don't have to touch up my eyeshadow anymore. It stays in place. The only time I do anything to my eyeshadow now is if I want to change it from a day look to a night look. And this time I just add a darker color or I make uh, the pigments that I have on darker instead of light. So, that was it from Sephora. The second thing that I got in the mail this week was from Pure Minerals, which I have come to love. I've always been a liquid foundation person. I've never tried powder foundations until recently. And what I got from them is their 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup Foundation in Porcelain. Looks like that. Very pretty, very nice. I thought a powder foundation would make my face look flaky and dry. It does not. It works really great. Has a mirror and a sponge, and they're compact. Uh, I bought their Dip, Draw, and Dust brush to go with that, only because I do not have a good foundation stippling type brush. It looks like this. It is very soft, but it's very dense. Really, really nice, nice brush. It gives you great coverage, and I love the way it feels on my skin. Um, I have not washed this really, really good yet, so I haven't noticed um, really any shedding on the brush whatsoever. I don't normally like to spend a lot of money on brushes. Honestly, when I use brushes for my eyeshadows, I normally only use one brush. Um, if I use more than one color, I just wipe my brush off. Um, so, I try not to spend too much brushes, but this one was well worth the investment because I'm probably going to be using this for a long time since I don't put on a lot of quantity of makeup. I figured the brush was worth investing in. And since I purchased those two, I got to choose between two free products, which is a day renewal or, or um, some nighttime serum. And I got the Pure Minerals Day Renewal Moisturizing Complex with SPF 20. It's a full size product. It is a really nice jar. It doesn't have a big smell to it, it smells clean. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to because right now I'm been big on what can moisturize my skin. Um, I've moved from one climate to another and my skin is really changing. So I love the free sample you got. And I believe that this cost regularly $32. I'm going to double check. If it's different, I'll let you know. Otherwise, it was $32, bucks, but it was a free gift when I spent I ordered it $35 or more. So, that's it for my first box day video. I have one other video I'm going to make today um, about some free stuff that I got. And hopefully this is a lot clearer. Um, like I said, I think I said, I probably won't be doing a lot of tutorials on eyeshadow particularly stuff because... Honestly, I'm probably not the best person to ask. There are so many of you gals who do it so much better than me. And why should you watch me do it when you can watch some really pretty person do it instead of just me, plain old girl next door. But thanks for watching and check back for that um, update on the free samples I got from this company that I'm loving. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. See you soon. Bye.